came here in June of last year and I had had a, a, I picked up something heavy and my neck just started to hurt unbearably and I got an MRI and I had um, three or four discs that were bulging and one, two of them were pressing on the fecal sac and the pain on my arms was unbearable. And I was living in a neck brace and spending most of my time just sitting on the couch. So I came here and I was getting lasers and Dr. Edgerton suggested a stem cell. And I said, well, yes, because the surgeon that I had seen, he, of course, he suggested surgery on the bulging discs and made me afraid that, you know, if I moved too hard, something was going to burst and I would paralyze or whatever. I, all those fears came up, you know. But I was more afraid of the surgery than I was of that. And Dr. Edgerton reassured me. And so I got the stem cell. And it's, well, I had to put my head backwards, you know, lay on a bed with my head, and they go in like this and they move a muscle. And it's not pleasant, but it wasn't exactly painful. It's more like being nervous and having yourself exposed and the needle this long going. And I, but saving surgery was my purpose. And I thought, well, that's worth anything for me. And so um, I noticed. After a short amount of time, like before that I had gotten to PRP, which is where they take your blood and they do something to it and they inject it into your, and I had already started to feel something from that. And so when I got the stem cells, I noticed within a few weeks or a month, like, it's almost like a baseline feeling. If I would say my baseline feeling was sort of a depressed, you know, uh, 10, bad, nauseous, all tired. I just started to feel sort of a light feeling, which is kind of better inside. I was still wearing the neck brace, and then as the months went by, I just started to notice that, oh, I went to the store and I didn't wear the neck brace. Oh, I forgot to wear the neck brace when I was driving. Uh, and like, you know, people would say, well, you seem a lot happier. And it's like, I do. And I was like, I am. So they're very subtle, you know, you don't, like, if I, if I had, I've seen some of the videos where people have COPD, so they can really measure you know, exactly because the breathing improves. Well, mine didn't seem quite so objective as that because the pain felt all over with this fatigue. And But I would say, now it's January and I got it, I think, last September, that, you know, I went from being in an eight, nine, or 10 amount of pain to, I would say, two to five. Five is pretty much my worst day, unless I've done something really physically active. And so, you know, I know there's a little ways to go, but I've had fibromyalgia for 20, 30 years. That affects any kind of diagnosis, you know, because I can have a fibromyalgia day and it's not necessarily because of my neck. And, but those fibromyalgia days, they pass faster and they don't last as long. I don't have them. Sometimes I'd be down for a couple of weeks because they call it a flare. I don't have that anymore at all. So. Um, you know, overall, and I just feel lighter. I feel like before I felt heavy and old, and now I feel lighter and younger and brighter and smarter and, you know, yeah, yeah. So, thank you.